Hey everybody, I'm on the way to the Trans Am Nationals in the Trans Auto and uh, heading towards Dayton, Ohio as we speak. Of course, I seem to have run into a little bit of a problem. It seems my uh, check engine light has come on and I hope somebody has a scan tool when I get there. Hey everybody, made to the Trans Am Nationals, one piece, no car problems, well, no major issues, just the check engine light came on on the 69 Firebird, had to get the OBD0 scanner out to fix that one. And if you catch that joke, you're pretty sharp, but nonetheless, we're here, all these cool cars here behind me, here we've got Firebirds from any year, pretty much any color, any model, Trans Ams, Firebirds, Formulas, SEs, pretty much anything, yeah, a couple of Macho Trans Ams, and uh, a couple of Fire Ams too, so some pretty rare birds here flying around, so, if you've never been here before, where we're at is just outside of Dayton, Ohio, and Fairborn, Ohio. Uh, they do it at the Holiday Inn, been doing it here for many years. This show started in 1985, and doing it pretty much every year, with the exception of maybe a couple. But uh, a lot of great cars and super awesome people. So what the Trans Am Nationals is to me, a group of people who love these cars just as much, if not more, than I do. And if you have anything in common with a Firebird, love Firebirds, own one, two, or three, you hang out here, you're gonna make a lot of great friends. You start talking sports, eh, you might lose a few of us. Start talking football, baseball, basketball, those are all great things, but that's not what we're gonna talk about here. It's gonna be Firebirds. So I'm gonna walk around, show you what we have to see. You can bring your own drinks. I happen to bring my favorite one right here, or you can go inside and buy your cold snacks inside too. But nonetheless, great atmosphere. Let's go take a look around. Now somehow I'm in it making it the Class N Super Street. Now these are the cars that are all in this class. So you can see it's pretty much any generation, any color, and about any combination. Now this one's pretty wild, big blown supercharged engine. Uh, this one has some bits on it to make it go fast. A little nitrous on this one. Uh, so we've got kind of a wide variety of different cars in this class. And of course, probably my favorite car here on the end for obvious reasons. But we're still kind of early here. Not quite kicking things off yet, but we're all starting to show up. This is actually day three of this show. It is a three day show. Um, you kind of think, what could you do? I'll tell you what, I haven't, uh, I haven't stopped yet. Make a lot of new friends, new connections, and checking new things out. And of course, if you're a abandoned fan, well, plenty of those here too in super great condition. You get your uh, second gen, third gen fix. Mm. Yeah, walk around the Trans Am Nationals here. I got a couple of uh, keychains. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do my own vinyl village garage picks. It doesn't necessarily mean you built it at home in your garage like we do, but uh, I think what you have is an exceptional car and worth mentioning or at least bringing it up. So if you happen to see one of these in your car, it just means I stopped by and think that your car is absolutely wonderful. And I want to say thanks for bringing it. Had one of those moments of deja vu and you see something that looks really familiar you've been there before i found a car that i think i once owned at one time it's an 88 gta painted red i drove by it earlier here i'm walking over to go check it out and see if it actually might be my old car the only thing that caught my eye were the tires uh did your eagle gsd3 it's kind of a rare tire not something you would commonly put on a car like that but uh this car had those on there i'm kind of thinking it might be my old car i'm gonna go check it out uh, I built the car just like this, painted red. The thing that catches my eye are the tires. And they haven't made these tires for quite a few years, especially in this size. Well, I don't know if you can 
AC inside there or not. We were close. This is a five speed. Mine was an automatic, but I'll tell you, the resemblance is so close that it makes you think it might have been. Everybody. I guess that's gonna do it for the 2021 Trans Am Nationals. The uh, storm seems to have uh, blown over, so we're gonna head out west, head back home, and uh, get the car put away and get back to normal life. We had a lot of great times, made a lot of new friends, and even been a guy from uh, South Carolina who flew in just to check out this show and you know, see the car. So I guess that's pretty impressive. And I'm gonna be going down there to visit for my birthday, see my mom, and he happens to live really close by. He's got some pretty cool Pontiacs. So we may. Uh, stop in there and check them out so i guess until then next time i guess stay safe out there and we'll see you next time